The second biggest field in main event history is in the money. The instant gratification is $15,000, but the real reward, that's a shot at the $10 million first place prize. The champs are here. The high stakes pros are here. The dreamers are here. Someone is about to make the run of a lifetime. Let's go, let's go. I know you're gonna bet. I know you're gonna bet. No call, let's put it in. Welcome back to Las Vegas for the 2022 World Series of Poker main event. We are on day four. We are at Bally's in Paris on the Las Vegas Strip. My name is Remco Rinkema. Alongside of me, Donnie Peters, to bring you a one-hour free preview of the PokerGo.com action as Alon McCarron and Jamie Kerstetter are on the call on the main station on PokerGo.com. As you can see, the action is hot and heavy inside the Bally's Event Center as players are getting paid and we are rapidly seeing the field dwindle. As, as of right now, we have 936 players remaining, meaning we lost almost 400 players in the first two hours of play, and Corey Aldemir was not among those players, as the defending champ is still in the mix for a title defense, sitting on 635,000 chips. So Karai going deep again, as we have plenty of other champs still in the mix. Greg Merson, 2012 main event champion, brought out the glasses for today, as things are quickly getting a whole lot more serious in the greatest poker tournament of the year. Here's a look at some phenomenal stats brought to you by Tim Duckworth. As we look at the main event champions who cashed the following year, Greg Merson was the most recent one to do it back in 2013. But of course, we all remember the iconic run that Greg Raymer had back in 05 when he came down to the final three tables of that tournament. Chris Moneymaker today grabbed the min cash for 15K. He was eliminated along with Ryan Reese, the 2013 main event champion. So, Donnie, we are looking at a field that is quickly dwindling. And I'll ask you this question first. When you're on day four of the main event, are you deep in the tournament that lasts 10 days, or are we still in the early goings? You're starting your run. You're not early, but you're not super deep just yet. I think deep is day six. Day four, in the, I mean, it's, you're in the money. That, that's how you would classify it. You're in the money, but it's, it's the early stages of the money. Here's a tournament summary presented by Zenny Eyewear. Eyewear for everyone. Like Lon said, the second biggest ever main event field, 8,663 players, $10 million up top. And of course, the 15K min cash is what we are playing for right now. Here's a look at Mike Matisau on the outer table today. He's going to be featured in our broadcast here in the first hour. He already has four WSFP bracelets going for his fifth in the main events. Arguably the tournament in which he had most of his success finishing ninth, of course, back in 05. And here's a look at our main feature table, Farah Gelfond in the one seat. She had very little chips yesterday when I spoke to her on break, but she made a run, she made a comeback, and right now she has a chance to make a very deep run, as Donnie said, onto day four and five. And here's Donnie, Damien Salas, perhaps the most easily forgotten main event champion, as in the, in the pandemic year in 2020, he was the one to take home the $2.5 million top prize. Yes, he was. He won the yeah. GG Poker yeah. portion yeah. of the main event and then went on to win the, the final table, I guess you would call it, <laughs> um, to, to win the, the world championship that year. His yeah. banner is up, though. Yep. It is up. Banner is Just up. like everyone else in here. <laughs> exactly. Uh, look at Farah here coming into this feature table with $274,000. And there's Daniel Reimer from the Netherlands, 313 k I mean, the characters don't get much colorful than this. I do love the fact that he's showing up and showing off here in the main event, Donnie. Wow. <laughs> what an outfit. Outfit of the day, I guess. Uh, for the people in the chat who are joining us, one hour free preview as always, every day during the main event. Thank you for tuning in. Let us know where you're watching from. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. If you missed any of yesterday's action, we put a really fun recap on our YouTube channel. So. Always keeping everyone on YouTube satisfied with some content from the day prior. And we also have a vlog out with interviews that also include conversations with um, plenty of players that are still in the hunt here today. 
as we spoke to, or as I spoke to, I should say, Farah Gelfon, uh, Maria Konnikova, Kara Scott, who's back in the mix. And here's uh, some action between Whitmire and Reimer. Whitmire bets 25k on this ace-5 jack flop. Reimer taking the aggressive approach with a pair and a flush draw, check raising the uh, 85k. This might be for stacks, Donny. Tricky spot for Whitmire. All in. There we go. Wow. Oh, we got a quick call. All in on a call. Pair and a flush draw versus top pair with a medium kicker. Reimer has plenty of outs. It's 51%. All those clubs, fives and threes, as Whitmire is at risk. Reimer has him covered by about 12 big blinds. We're playing 5K, 10K with a 10K big blind ante. Huge turn card coming up here for these two players. As they quietly await their fate. Ten on the turn does not help Reimer at all. Still 14 outs, though. Let's see the river card. Queen of Hearts on the river. Whitmire doubles up. Reimer left with only 125k. Brandon Rudder says, this is virtual insanity. Reimer definitely cha challenging some Jamiroquai here at the feature table. What was it? What was it? Something like that. We got Foster City in the house. We got Atlanta, Georgia in the house. Love to see it. When you deal the flop, do you mind pushing it a little bit more to your left? I'm struggling a little bit with the height. Yes. The shorter stack is all in for 390,000. Salas now looks down at King Jack. And he does make the call. This is my mom's favorite hand. My favorite is the king. As we go to the flop. And there is a king for Salas. Now just two clean streets away from the victory. It is another king, and the full house in this near empty house brings Damian Salas his world championship. Little look back there, Damian Salas from Argentina winning 2.5 million for his main event run back in 2020. Easy to overlook, but the, the, the money definitely hit the account, Donnie. Definitely hit the account. So we have to do is put here. <laughs> is this the longest name we've ever had? Last name was Rodriguez Tabares. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> if my name was Rodriguez Tabares, I would maybe pick one. <laughs> of course, we've seen many long Ukrainian and Russian names oh yeah. over the years. You're a, you're a big fan of trying to pronounce those. Yes, yeah, so I leave them to you. <laughs> You're the one with the European roots. I would love for Bogan to be Australian. I didn't know. That would be great. <laughs> That'd be the worst part. But it sounds a little bit Romanian to me, if I were to make a guess, as Whitmire throws a six suited in the muck. All right, we got Utrecht in the house, London, Saskatoon, Midwest. Beautiful. Lots of people from all over the world tuning into our broadcast. By the way, if you're new to our YouTube channel and you're catching this for the very first time, we do a one-hour preview of the main event coverage every single day until we get to the main event final table. As Reimer, despite losing that big pot, well, he's got a slightly better <laughs> yeah, hand of clubs. You know? <laughs> he's gone from <laughs> he's gone from five three of clubs to six two of clubs. <laughs> Kulev, by the way, maybe the second best dress player. It's a nice. Uh, Nice honeycomb pattern on that shirt. I like it. I dig it. Got the shades on. Fresh hair done nicely. Yeah. Nice little fade going on. In that whole corner with, you know, Farah, Reimer, and Kulev. Yeah. Is, uh, I mean, I don't know about Reimer. I mean, he <laughs> the hair is a little crazy. The hat's a little crazy. Jamiroquai, baby. Seven dudes off. We're playing poker, baby. Exactly. He knew he had him dominated. That's, that was the thing. <laughs> By the way, we're doing some giveaways here, as always, on the channel. We'll do a free month of, of Poker Go action when we get 500 likes. Here's the blind levels. We're playing 5K, 10K with a 10K big blind Annie. Oh, what's your name? They're all here. Just slightly damaged. 
Oh, there, Damien. Today is really sort of a moving day where we see lots of the short stacks take big risks because they already are guaranteed a 15k payout. And then all of a sudden, that field from 1300 is down to like 300 in a matter of hours. They were flying yesterday, and I can only imagine it's going to pick up today again. As you mentioned, some of those short stacks are just going get, to get moving. Here we have an all-in. Petrakowski, all-in. One, one of those crazy names that I'm going to allow you to say. I nailed that. <laughs> Petrakowski, all-in with eights versus ace three here. Gutty on the flop there for mm. Zavatsky. Oh, Zavatsky has 1.1 million behind, so <laughs> it's not a lot of pressure on him. <laughs> From three to seven. Eights Thanks. definitely looking to hold up here. Hold, hold yeah. Four, Four on the turn. Bingo. There's the wheel. Yeah. Peter Kow <laughs> it, it sinks in with Peter Kowski just a second late that his opponent has made the wheel and he has been eliminated from right. the main event. <coughs> Turn five is full. Turn five is full. Hey, I'll be. In position, right? My brother, just hang out here. Someone's going to come collect you, okay? Thank you. You can tell us what you had. Come on, it's on TV. Yeah. <laughs> and you mic'd up, so... <laughs> I cannot tell you about this until you find out... If you're just tuning in, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Very much appreciated. We, we put some fun bubble coverage out, and people seem to like it so much, Donnie, that I'm actually posting a full bubble coverage video on YouTube tonight to give the people some extra wow extra did a I did a bubble coverage podcast. Fine. Love it. People go check that out. Search Poker Girl Podcast. Brandon. Brandon. Yep. Did you sleep at all last night? Damien. Yeah, um, not too much. Had to get up and go to the doctor this morning. Rhymer. So I'm, I'm dying. I, I need lots of coffee. Today. Gonna, gonna dip into that coffee fund for sure. Rhymer here moving all in. Queen Jack off. Ah, okay. Just getting looked up here by Viana with Ace Four offsuit. Rhymer, two live cards. It's a fair flip, Donnie. Yeah, you can't ask for much more here if you do get called with Queen Jack. Rhymer, the uh, standing up type. I mean, that usually means you're going to win a hand. <laughs> I guess in some Grab your belongings, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, well, I really got the thing going way back when. Yeah. So not as Start much as the you boom think. Poker. Start everything. He's a really Is he a lay? One, one, five. And yeah, we were here yesterday, and he had a, he had a maybe four, Let's five have a look at the flop. So he, I think. Eight, eight, three. As of yesterday, he was. Nothing changes. Reimer looks for a queen or a jack to survive here, as Viana's ace high is still in the lead. Six outs twice. Backdoor straight draw, also in the mix as a king hits. Close but no cigar. Six outs once now. Ten on the river is not going to do it. Daniel Reimer eliminated from the main event. Another one bites the dust. Collects 17K, so we've already made a little bit of a pay jump here, Donnie. That'll buy many more hats. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. that outfit is, is either from er, a second-hand yeah, store so today, or from Gucci. There's like nothing in between. Today? Yeah. Did you, uh, yeah. this is your first table today. You started the day at this table? The yeah, yeah. 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 Yes, please. We play the first the first in the another room. Uh, and then they selected you guys yeah. and you in here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, that's, that's perfect. Use the hearts exposed. Bogan. I'm sure the player will like that. Any Aussies in the chat? If you're from Australia, let, let me know because <laughs> I miss Australia. Brandon Rudder said he's having trouble leaving because the floor is moving. Shout out Jameer Coy. <laughs> that's great. I mean, Reimer went deeper underground there. Why do they always stop when they are walking away? Super awkward. Well, if you're walking off of a feature table, there's a couple reasons why you might stop. One, because the, the audio guy might be stopping you to collect your microphone. Can't walk off with that. Two, they might just stop you for like a quick shot on the camera or something like that. Three, there's a lot of people around <laughs> on the stage that you might just stop because you're about to run into a jib guy, a cameraman, a producer, a director, whatever it is out there on the stage. It's definitely not your average poker tournament here as Rodriguez Tavares looks down at four deuce suited considering calling here. She, she made the final table of WPP Sorry. Venetian, I believe, uh, a year or so ago. Played pretty aggressively throughout the tournament. 
I want to say she might have even busted Jason Kuhn kind of deep in that tournament. Hopefully I'm not too wrong there, but uh, she had a good showing at that event. And another good showing here. Bang, music, my all, all time, always my favorite. Some day four headlines here. Karai Aldemir, Lonnie Hui, Mike Madison, Greg Merson, David Peterson, Dan Smith. You can see their accolades posted on the screen. But it's pretty cool to see two players from the top ten of the all-time money list and two main event champions still in the hunt. Plenty more bracelet winners still contending as we are down to 927 players in this year's main event. Donnie, as we see it all in here at the secondary feature table, so I'll get to my question in just a second. We have Zavatsky King. with Kings versus the Tens of Tsai. You fold that king? You, you don't need it. The only one. Come on, buddy. You, you don't need a king. <laughs> you don't, no, don't need it. You don't need a king. No, no king. Should I ask who That's who greedy. No, you can't you be asking if, sweat, if people so folded the cards when you're <laughs> way out in front. That's not how this like, works. Whatever, either one. I mean, I always wanted to know. I was like, yeah, someone Ace, folded Jack, three. I want to know, like, do I really suck out or just kind of suck out? Sai is looking for a 10. I don't want to know shit. That's right, Mike. You tell him. I just want to get it in in front and hold up. I mean, or get it in behind and suck out. Those are the two things. I don't I always agree with Mike Massa, but I agree with him right now. <laughs> ten on the turn. Ace, or sorry, ten Ace and a ten only. Pulse. We'll keep Sai in the tournament. Oh, he's taking the mic off. He's ready. He's ready to leave. That's the ultimate jinx. Good game, man. Good game. Didn't work though. Zai eliminated and Zavatsky up to 1.4 million. Mike Madisa, by the way, out of position against Zavatsky here, but still sitting very comfortably on over half a million man, chips. Was so sure. Need some help? Can we see another Mike Madisa deep WSP main event so run? Small. Yes, we will. We will. You're oh just calling. God, Mike Madisa. What do you mean? With, with like top 500? Day, top day six. We'll get more players. I like it. Yeah. I like it. They I'm calling it right now. Mike Madisa out day six. No worries. <coughs> Pay out right I now. I will buff people and give all my chips to the seat number three, okay? How about me? Dude, I, hey, listen, we're going to be friends if you do that. I love that. Thank you. you need to fill some of these seats up here. You're going to give me 100 here. Five and five? I mean, Zavatsky is just cleaning everyone five. out. Yeah. By the way, when we hit 500 likes in the video, I'll give away a free month of Poker Go. Mike's a good guy too. Give some to him too. Okay? Yes, obviously. Share it, no. you know, like share the wealth. He's, he's very good. He's 20. one and only. Where are you from? <laughs> from Poland, sir. So. Poland, very nice. Good to hear that. You like it? Have you been ever to Poland? I don't think so. You d you don't <laughs> you, remember? I think you would know. Well, how much <laughs> did you make it, Mike? You wouldn't remember that? <laughs> Wanted to stumble into Poland. Just we'll play wait, am I in Poland? <laughs> Maybe a big one. Who knows? It's gonna be one of the two. Oh. Ganeen makes the call with Ace-2 suited in the big blind, as we are still left wondering what Ma Madisau's second card is. Has to be an 8. I hope it stays like this. It has to be an 8, right? Because the Ace of Hearts is on the flop. 17. 7 8? I'm going to say a 7 8 of Hearts. <laughs> Call. Quickly called by Ganeen. King of Spades on the turn. Check. Madasau reaching, representing the ace with his preflop raise. I mean, Madasau could have ace-eight off. They are seven-handed. He he could have ace-eight off. I can't say you're on top of your game and call you with this drunk. Wow. Very smart. Lays down Good the ace. Brother. Hope we get Maybe. to see you, Donnie. Like you favor, show your <coughs> chip. Like chip down, buddy. Oh, what is it? What is it? Show us the no, card. No, no, because they have cameras, so they oh. could, you know cameras. There is a lot of cards reading. There wow. We have Sorry, yeah, yeah. People are going to look at this yes, card. Yes, and they're yes, gonna yes. Be Michael, like, did you, did you block me on live TV? No. He said no. 10-8. I don't, I don't know how to bluff. <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I, don't, I was close. <laughs> under my... Under my uh, is that right? Under my... Uh, Who my it it says Mike. Instead of Mike the Mouth, it says Mike the Knit on TV right now. Mike the Knit. Mike the Knit. Yeah. True story. They asked me, I go, Mike the Knit, because that's what I am. If I bet, I have it. That's it. I had ace deuce of clubs. I think Mattisau is generally considered on the oh, tighter side good. these Come days on. of his career. Oh, unbelievable. <laughs> I also think he's probably sharp enough to lean on that image. Now, most of the time on the bubble at the World Series of Poker Main, people are rooting 
against the short stacks. That was not the case at one table last night where you could hear chants of let's go kid. Here is that kid. Anthony, stand up for me, please. 21 year old Anthony Winnie. Okay, what is running through your mind when you get the chips in on the bubble of the main with Kings against the A7 student? Well, I have Kings. I'm not folding. I'm no net. I have eight bigs. Let's try to double up and have a better chance in day four. That's the, that's the name of the game. I'm here for 10 mil, you know. It seemed like you were having a blast. What's this yeah. entire experience been like for you? I mean, poker's been a huge part of my life ever since I was my earliest memories. Dad taught me the game when I was five. Um, so seeing people like you know Doug Polk, Tom Marchese, Gail Bowman, uh, Scotty Wind, it's awesome experience. It's surreal. Does it feel like a free roll right now? Not quite. Still feels like we're battling it out and trying to do as well as we can. That's what I wanted to hear, playing for that 10 mil, right? Absolutely. Best of luck. Thank you very Thank much you. for the time. Appreciate it. Thank nice you. meeting you. This guy's a champion. All right, this kid might be my new favorite player. Phenomenal stuff. 21 years old, on. He playing the main event. I think he's, I think last night during that hand, he, they said he was 21 years old in six days. Wow. Like, just turned 21. Marathon and in a sprint, buddy. A little story about Mike Matisau as we look at the payouts here, presented by StormX, currently in the $17,000 payout level. As you can see, the jumps are not massive, but we are moving along today. He knows better. Got an all in here. I like how the jumps are nice and smooth. O'Neill raised the 20K. Diaz, three best to 58, and O'Neill used that opportunity to get his stack into the middle oh, of his king. By the way, I want those glasses. Long time. He is? Yeah. He played a long time. I feel he might have stolen them from Daniel years, Reimer. started the business. <laughs> I got four kids. It's like when you get older, you don't have time my for poker. poker. Career and you gotta find you got to find another way to make the kind my, of money my, you were making my, playing poker. My, my poker career is winding down very fast. As far as, well, it already has. I mean, I don't play full time. I don't. Do you play a lot of cash games? Swinging back over to the main feature table, headlined by Fair Gelfond, Damien Salas, and Rodriguez Tabares with just shy of a million chips. She is our chip leader at the table. Right all in here with Ace Queen suited. Approaching 500 likes. We'll do the giveaway. Just rip this under the gun for 21 bigs. I'm not sure how this table has been playing, but I think I would prefer raise and call it off or raise four bet jam if you get three bet. Okay. Ace queen just, ace queen suited specifically. A, a bit powerful. Andrew Halberg is asking about the Mattisau card situation where his card wasn't reading. Right on set. There's a single a person in what's called the peak room who has no contact with the outside world other than <laughs> production to let them know Brother Ford, yeah. that there's a card not being shown. So that one person can then relay that information I have to tell the person that they are. And basically, Mike probably didn't put his cards like on the two readers like you see here. You know, those two boxes, the players are supposed to put one card in each box. The RFID reads the cards. There is a chip in all of the cards. And then as a backup, there are backup cameras. There's, <laughs> there's backup cameras. I there's nothing was like the old days peeling the cards right on the cam. I wish we would still do that. Can we talk to Maury and the still get some shots of that? That's, that's just so cool. Peel cam is definitely one of my favorites. <laughs> By the way, we just hit 500 likes, so let's go. Let's hear it, people. Who do you want to see win the World Series of Poker main right. event this year? Please call someone that's who's still fine. in the tournament. Just let us know, who do you want to see win the main event this year? I will do a random draw among everyone who sent in a response in about five minutes. You can only enter the giveaway if you are a subscriber to our YouTube channel. So subscribe to our YouTube channel. Let us know in the chat, who do you want to see win the main event this year? I'll give away one free month of PokerGo in uh, just a few minutes. Rodriguez here with the race to 20K. Right defends the big blind. 10 5 5 flop, one diamond. Rodriguez Tavares out in front with two pair, tens and fives. How long is the delay? Is it 40 minutes? Or? 
15 or 30. Twenty five thousand is the bet. Wright gives it up. Rodriguez Tavares increases her stack. The chip leader at this table. Up over at nine hundred thousand now. Chat goes wild. Lots of Karai Aldemir, lots of Rodriguez in there as well. Some love for Chino, David Peters, Moneymaker. He busted unfortunately earlier today. He did make the money. Brian DePaulo is being called out. He busted just before the bubble. Sadly, he was making <coughs> quite a show out of it. Ayaz Mahmoud reference oh. in the chat. There you go. Bracelet winner, Ayaz Mahmoud. Heads, heads up legend. Heads up legend, that's right. I think he plays the heads up tournament and the main event every year, and that's it. Aaron Mermelstein, current chip leader, is getting some love as well. Crushing out there. Ron Williams says 600 likes with almost 9,000 viewers. Come on, people. Hey, man, Ron, Ron said it, not me. Everyone's lazy. They can't just slide on over and, and <laughs> press that like button. It's so easy. Kulev here opening. Looks like we got a Mike Massa situation. Only one card showing, the Ten of Spades. We've got a fair, fairly subdued table, Donnie. Do you think these players are just starting to get fatigued already, or is it just a matter of you know concentration and wanting to make the best decisions? I think the latter. I think also, you know, being under the bright lights, the cameras of the main stage might play a bit of a factor. Kulov takes this one down with his raise. Spoke to Mike Matisau just before play got underway at this feature table. He told me, and he was very proud of this, he says, my dog has my meds dialed in. I'm feeling good, and I'm just waiting for other players' heads to explode around me. He said... Players have been in action here already for over a full level, just getting to know each other. I spoke to Farah Galfon just before she sat down at the table. She said it's been a fun table so far. Actually, right before they got moved here, the other woman at the table doubled up in a massive pot, so that's changing the dynamic a little bit. Now, Farah is normally a high-stakes cash player, and she tends to be pretty understated about her own poker skills. She told me she's just kind of finding her feet here right now, not only because it's a tournament, but also she's just not been able to play as much poker as she normally would. Life just has a way of getting in the way. But it's the main event, she said. She's having a great time. What's not to love? Farrah, Farrah Galfond with her husband, Phil Galfond, of course, one of the power couples in poker. She's still chasing after her first bracelet. This would be a good one to win. <laughs> it would be the best one to win. It would be awesome to see Farrah make a real run in this tournament. Got a hand right here. Solace open. Queen Jack of Clubs. Galfond with King Jack of Hearts. All right, two minutes left. After this hand, I'll pick a random winner. And I saw Ragnar in the chat. Ragnar, I saw your message. We're working on it. I got you covered, buddy. This could be a three bet jam here. 24 or 25 bigs. By the way, how good do these chips look? They're very good. I can't wait for us to get to the stage where Great. we have the one million and the five million okay. chips in play. And of course, we're only a few days away from that as Farah puts in the three bet to 100K on. Mm. Is, that a, is that a committing three bet there? I mean, it sure looks committing, that's for sure. Salas, not known for his fast play, so. He might. I think he leans on the on the tighter side, and if Fair is picking up on that, you know, he he can she can take advantage of it. Obviously, we can see the cards, and we can see that she does have him dominated. She does have the best hand. Would have been very interesting to see what had happened if Solis did decide to shove it in. <laughs> yeah, because knowing that Damien has a tighter image, it's yeah. going to make it that much harder for Fair to make that call. Yeah. All right, chat, sticking to my guns here. Time to give away a free sub as we are be below 900 players swinging over.
to the table of the champ, Corey Aldemir here. Karai peacefully grinding, sitting on a little over 600K, so it looks 525. I call. It's more than 525. Or are those eight stacks? They must be 10 stacks then. Well, I can't see his names in the way. <laughs> They're blocking us from <laughs> verifying the count. Looks like 690 to me. Yes. Here's Aaron Mermelstein, our current chip leader. 1.95 million. By the way, Jacob Dalla told me he had 2.3 million. So things are moving so fast in the main event right now that we might see someone with 5 million chips in just a few minutes. Oh, yes. We haven't seen any. I, I walked the field before we hopped on commentary, and, and there are. Go ahead, you can do this first. Okay, sitting pretty. The big stacks, Aaron Mermelstein, up to over 2 million. Michael Rocco, 1.8. Gabi Lifshitz, 1.8 million as well. Going further down the list, Jacob Dalla, who's been chipping up in the most recent level. 1.6 million on the leaderboard, but he told me 2.3, so maybe Jacob Dalla is our current chip leader. Either way, chips are moving. Chips are moving really fast. And we are due to see some big all-ins, hopefully here at the feature table, as Gelfond raises from the button with King-7 off. Kulev picks up a hand that I'm scared of, Donnie. We talked about this yesterday. Ace-9 offsuit, not a fan. It's a good hand. I like it. Button versus big blind certainly goes up in value. Kulev flops top two on the Ace-9-8 board. What I was going to say earlier is there are Lavender 100K chips in play, too, but we just haven't seen any yet. I can't wait. They are out there. They're, be they're beautiful. The winner of the free month of Poker Go after a draw, Gurdev Singh. Gurdev Singh says Gelfond or Tavares. Would love to see a woman win the main event. Gurdev Singh, please send an email to social at pokego.com with a screenshot of you logged into your YouTube account so we can see that it's you. And will send, we will send you a promo code for that free month of Pokego action. Check raise from Kulev, quick fold from Galfon. Continue. Moving on, next hand, next giveaway coming up in just a few minutes. Everyone, please make sure you're subscribed to the channel as that is the only way to participate here during this, fir this first hour, Donnie, which is sort of like, you know, our own personal circus to have some fun with this stuff. It is. Shout out Andre Johnstone, $1 donation. I'm using that to go straight to get a coffee after this. <laughs> I got, I got a, I got a dollar here for you as well, Donnie. So here. What do I? So that's. Wow, well, now I have two. <laughs> I think I'm like halfway to the coffee. <laughs> with Andre's dollar and my dollar. Oh, Andre donated another dollar. Okay, there. Sweet. Now I'm 75 percent of the way. The coffee actually isn't that expensive here. I was, I was surprised, pleasantly surprised. You know, just because you're in a casino, I expect everything to be at least minimum 17 dollars. <laughs> Rodriguez, known for her aggressive style, finds threes, and that's Wait, enough to make a raise. To recap, every player started with 60,000 in chips. So currently, six big blinds. That's what the starting stack is worth. If you're new to this tournament, this is the World Series Poker Main Event, the greatest poker tournament of the year. No, Kyle Nichols, you did not win. No. I thought Kyle Nichols might have won. Sorry. Uh, Bogan here looking at Jax. The winner of the giveaway, Gurdev Singh. Just getting back into poker. Oh, yeah. This is the great time to subscribe to our YouTube channel as Bogan moves all in for 23 big blinds. Whitmire quickly releases. <coughs> Action folds back around to Rodriguez, so it seems, as Rutherford tosses 6-3 suited into the muck from the, from the button. Allen must, must never have been in a casino. 
He said seventeen dollars for coffee. What? I mean, have you seen casino prices on some of the stuff that they sell? <laughs> Rodriguez <laughs> lays <laughs> lays down the threes, and Bogan picks it up. I just desperately want this guy to be Australian. Well, we we can <coughs> find that out, right? A sports fan. Oh, he's from Romania. A sp oh. Sports fan says, "Is Joe Hashim or Jamie Gold playing?" Joe Hashim did play. He has been eliminated. Jamie Gold or Jamie Gold not here this year. Have not seen Jamie Gold at all. Uh, Niku says, when did they change from 10k starting stack to 60k? Well, they went from 10k to 30k first. I believe... They might have even gone 10 to 20. Or 10 to 20? There's been many. I think they've had every, <laughs> like, 10,000 multiple up to 60. We're, we're, we're getting very close to starting with 100k, but of course it is all relative in relation to the blinds. But I think 60k is perfect because you start with a 100, 200 level with a 200 big blind ante, meaning that the first level is a lot more meaningful than in the past when there were no antis in the first level of the main event. And of course, that is something worth battling over. I think the first level of the main event might be the most meaningless level <laughs> of the entire World Series of Poker. <laughs> I mean, but it's also very meaningful in the way that like you're there, maybe you catch a punt, that sort of thing. It's just so long and the structure is so good. It's crazy. Daniel Hashem, Joe Hashem's son, did advance to day four. Just want to point that out there. He came into the day with 264,000. Do you have three yellow? Three? Three, yeah. Okay, thanks. Rodriguez getting some info there from Kulev as she finds one of my favorite hands, 10 9 suited. By the way, chat, let me know what's your favorite hand. Always curious to see. You guys can come up with something creative as Mark Jacobs is asking how many players are left. We are just below 900 players left, meaning we've lost over 400 players already today in the main event as we see heads up action here. 675 pops off, two diamonds. Gut shot for Rodriguez. Queen high is still the best hand. Jesse says, can I get a job at Poker Go? And if so, how to do that? Well, Jesse, we don't have any job openings right now, but if you send an email to social at Poker Go with your resume, motivation, job experience, I'll keep you on file. How about that? Kulev continues here for 41K from the button. Gordev Singh, I see your email. To the turn we go. A four pops off. Kulev makes a straight. Very tough for Rodriguez to win this hand, given that she needs an eight, which is one of the cards that Kulev is holding. She might try and represent this card, though. Kulev reminds me of Ryan LaPlante. He reminds me of True Teller. <laughs> yeah. She is she goes. She is going to lead. By the way, the aforementioned Jake Abdallah. How I said he was up to 2.3 million. He didn't buy into this tournament until three levels into day three. Oh, sorry, day two. He was one of the last players to register, and now he has a massive pile. Insane. I mean, the structure is so good in this thing that you can you could register right at the end of registration and still come in with you know halfway decent stack. Some of these other tournaments, you super late reg and you know you get in there with 15 blinds stuff like that. Not in the WSP main event. There were hundreds of people that opted for that day two late reg. I just spoke to uh, John Manette, better, better known to some people as Angry John. He is late registering the, the little one for one drop with 12 big blinds. Raise here from Kulev. Quick fold from Rodriguez Tavares. I like how <laughs> Kulev is just, he's kind of playing his hands face up. You know, he, he's, he flopped the two pair against Galfon. 
he just quickly check raised, didn't need to do anything tricky, try and get cute. Here, when he had a straight, he just raised. You know, he's not, he's just playing his hands kind of face up, which, you know, against the best players in the world might be a detriment, but um, he obviously recognizes that he doesn't need to do that right now, and things are working out for him. Ryan DePaulo in the background there on the rail. Quads. Excuse me, Mike Matasau. <laughs> Mass out here in a terrific situation. Might Unfortunately for him, Arjang doesn't have anything. King Jack? No. I have quads. I have quads. <laughs> I believe you if you say it. I don't think I'm going to lie. Thank oh, you. I'm not lying. <laughs> Good thing I didn't hit the river. I was just begging to give you oh whatever God. you were looking for. I had, I had to give you the luck. free one. I, I believe you. Oh it's a round of applause for making quads. Put a heart, put a heart on the <laughs> state. Eight. Eight. He would stay you would have had Put whatever he needs. Oh Mexican and then, life for the then, quads, guys. Then I go for the over bet and make it look maybe oh weak. I don't God. know. Stay them, I'm out. Stay them out. Wow. Do over bets even look weak anymore? I don't think I've ever flopped quads in the main event before. I'm sure you have. You just don't remember it. Frank. I don't think I've ever flopped it's quads so in 10 years. Yeah, yeah, it's still not so easy. Come on, it's quads. It's like, so I mean, I've made quads. I mean, <laughs> flop quads? I, yeah, yeah. I, I, I know, I know. I couldn't. It was. I, I mean, I don't have the best memory, I but I, uh, if, they knew you if it happened, one, if it, happened it might have been once in the last 20 years, maybe. Uh, I would bet that you didn't. I'm no, sorry, I, 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 I had to show it because no, no, it's not good. King of spade, spade, I'm out. out. Good to see you, bro. King of uh, spade, I'm out. I folded a big hand, I'm a three bet. Good luck. Any spade, I'm out. I have king <laughs> of spades, so it's like, you know, both. There's no way I'm folding in there. Uh, yeah. I was happy when you called the flaw. What? I was like, I'm just going to check turn and pray to him, tits, whatever the fuck he has. Why can't they ever hit a. Full house there. Raise the 20,000. Spade and I pick up 200,000 chips. Zawatsky was to raise the 20,000. We see O'Neill fold two sevens. 32 big blinds. I've definitely 100% never flopped quads. I feel like I would spend two big lines to set mine there, that I thinking I could double up. Absolutely. Me yeah, either. I saw in the chat that Zavatsky is a very yeah, highly respected and even underrated pro from Poland. So. What's life ever? I, I do it in cash games. I've done it in cash games before. Maybe, yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe once a year, but. How long uh, this table? Hey, what's up, bro? How are you? Uh, good, man. How long have you guys been on this table? Uh, I haven't recognized you. Uh, we were at table 555. Uh, five, five. Corey over there? We got pulled See on. Corey over there? Uh, like since this morning, okay. so except two people went out. Two, uh, two of the original nine are no longer with us. Who was them? You probably. Oh, probably. Did you? I forgot. Sorry, sorry. I believe in you, Poland. I, I didn't want to do it. You beat another person, you're going to get another patch. <laughs> <laughs> I will, I will. By the way, Tom Who are you Middle representing? Nick, Tom Middle uh, uh, two uh, uh, One drop. And this one, uh, yeah, one drop, and this is my friend. He's a developer of the 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 this preflop academy. This. this oh, school. she taught you how to preflop. Oh, pre beautiful. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Oh, you're like a GTO <laughs> guy. Open at nine seven. I told you that my best friend. He's like developer of the this side, not me. That's so it's like no, no, no. I understand. So do you, are you a developer still, yourself? Have, are you a developer? I'm doing my best, sir. The like, 23, I did only play 11 million hands poker, so oh, wow. not too much for 10 years. So Damn. that's a that's lot, lot more. That's, that's about that's a a 10 million more than I played in 26 years. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> we can just go that's home, doing my I love the for game. Sure. I really yeah. love the but game. But how many hands of live you. poker? You got have a great you We know you played 11 million hands of poker. How many? I cannot count it. Like, but you played a lot I, of live. Yeah, I, I I do play a lot, but only 10 years. You know, uh, and because on, to me, online and live are two different games. So I, I agree. Obviously. I mean, that's... can I see your sexer? I'm a pretty darn good live Nolan player. I would never play online again. I don't like. Yeah, I, yeah, I, but even back in the day, I, I kept saying, "How are these people playing for this kind of money funny. online?" Yeah, I'm like, like two or three. Okay. How do you know you're not getting? I mean, like no, nowadays, no, even. I mean, it's crazy. Me and you could pl sit next to each other in a six-handed PLO. Quarter fifty game, 
on an Eric, whatever, and 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 just play straight forward and couldn't lose. Yeah, could be uh, four that's, of you. That, that's a big thing. Could yeah. be four, whatever. It's yeah, like you have big, such a huge advantage a when you know what you know what the nut flush is, the nut straight is when you can see his car. It's just like saying for close. years, I never understood. Like, I remember in 2006 when all the young kids were walking with fucking knapsacks of money. They sit in our game and they couldn't play a lick. And I'm thinking, what the f is going on here? Crazy. You again? That's what up, buddy? You know when I, I didn't trust online right. poker? Oh, right. When Full Tilt sent me to Brazil in 2010, and we go to a pre I was happy I got rid of you on my left pre tournament there, party like at some this. mansion right? on the but you can do it this I just on the call ocean. Too small here, and know. the guy showed I me around. Here Upstairs, he no, showed I, me I a room. No, I used to like this. I mean, That's as big as. This far across, about four lines, all computers. Oh, we teach people how to play online uh, tournament poker here. I'm thinking. Oh, oh you did. Oh. Oh, nice. Here's a look at Osgur Sechelmis, fifth place finisher of last year's main event for 1.8 million. Last year's finalists are doing well in the main event. As we just briefly step aside from the Mike Matisau story time, here is Alejandro Lococo, arguably. The most notable player from last year's main event, aside from Karai Aldemir, finishing in seventh place, the Argentinian rapper who, once again, is sitting on a massive stack. I know you can't see it right now from this framing, but Lococo is sitting on some big money here on day four of the main event. And here's a look at those final three players from last year's final table who are still in contention. Day three saw almost all of them go down. George Holmes, Jack Oliver, Josh Remedio, Henry Park and Jared East all eliminated on day three, meaning they did not make the money. The money bubble burst late last night, and right now on day four, everyone is guaranteed at least $17,000, and we are seeing them fly out the door as fast as humanly possible as we swing on over to Karai Aldemir, who is still sitting on roughly the same stack, Ronnie, that we saw earlier. Looks like next to him, Jacqueline Burkhardt has a quite a hefty stack as well. Hope you guys enjoyed the Mattis House story time there. I'm pretty sure that whenever we put the camera on his table, he's going to have a new story to tell. But it's definitely entertaining to have him go deep in the main event. There it is, the feature table. By the way, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. It is very much appreciated as we are doing this one hour free preview as Viana three bets with Kings after Salas opened it up with A7 suited. Salas lays it down and Viana picks up another pot. He knocked out Daniel Reimer earlier and is off to a good start here on the feature table. So 13 minutes left here on the free preview. Good. You better subscribe right now to our YouTube channel because we are giving away a free annual subscription to Poker Go at the end of this stream. Wow. So in 13 minutes, wow. I will give away a free year of Poker Go among you YouTube subscribers. So you have to be a YouTube subscriber to have a chance to win. Just make sure you subscribe to our channel. <coughs> that's, that's quite a big giveaway. It's a big giveaway, Donnie. It's a very, very big giveaway. It's, it's, it's a party out Aces. here. Aces. Oh, we got the burgers. Okay, chat. The Ace Burgers. Just out of curiosity, chat. What do you call Aces? Donnie calls them Ace Burgers. Yeah, why do we call them the Ace Burgers? <laughs> Tell the story. By Phil the way, Helmuth Queens. calls them the Ace Burgers. Here we go. Rutherford has stepped in it. Unfortunately for him, he only has 14 big blinds, so it's going to be extremely hard for him to get away from this. All in. All in. Here we go. As expected, he moves all in. Let's see if someone else is going to get caught by the action in front. Action so far. Quick to fold around as Bogan folds one of... Galphon's aces, which she does not currently <coughs> need. Rockets, lots of people call them rockets. They're called the ace burgers, people. Come on. <laughs> All right, Farah with the snap call. Obviously, happy to turn over her pocket aces. 311k in the middle as Rutherford is all in for his tournament life. Didn't see any queens folded, so. He's drawing very live, or as live as he can be drawing. Very live to two outs. <laughs> very live to two outs. As live as he can be. Exactly. All right, let's see this flop. <laughs> 10, 9, 4. Backdoor straight draw for Rutherford, but obviously a queen would be 
his preferred card of choice on the turn. Jack for the sweat. King on the okay. turn. King's a sweat. More outs for Rutherford, who has now has a gut shot along with the queen as an out. So six outs once. Let's see him. Four on the river is not going to do it. Good luck, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Nice. Rutherford here. eliminated. Farrah Galfon picks up some chips. She's up to 427,000, I think it said. Wow. Every, every chip matters. I haven't seen these in the <laughs> <event>. first day. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Farrah, a little celebration there, totally getting fine. some green right. 25k That's chips. Quickly realizes that Rutherford is still seated <laughs> <laughs> right next to her and, and apologizes. Oh man! Hey, you can be happy. You yeah, can of be course. Happy. No, but no big deal. There. Whatever you do, if you watch this at home, never say sorry for busting someone because you're not. I mean, I'm done. Yeah. All right. Yeah, you, you're, you're not sorry, but especially don't say sorry when you have the best hand. I mean, there's just you know, you your your hand held up. You know? Celebrate. Yeah. If I ever make the feature table of the main event, I'm gonna be doing cartwheels. <laughs> I'm holding you to that. Fair Galfon, for those unfamiliar, played Mimi Lockhart on Days of Our Lives. I cannot say that I've ever watched that show, Donnie. That's a pretty big deal, right? My grandparents used to watch soap operas daily. Daily. <laughs> Farah picks up some green. Those chips worth 25k each. Some players have stacks. Farah has two, and she's very happy with that. By the way, if you're just tuning in, nine minutes left before we give away a free annual subscription to PokerGo, a free year of PokerGo. All you have to do is subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay tuned because we have nine minutes left. Whitmire here, King-5 suited, raises from the button. 8-7 suited in the big blind. That's a wonderful hand. Good flop here for right, middle pair, and a flush draw. Check two in Whitmire, bets 26,000. Very juicy flop for right here, Donnie. Annual sub giveaway coming up in eight all minutes. In, all, in. Yeah, all in from right. There you go. That should end this one. <coughs> Whitmire looks like he came straight from a boat. <laughs> <laughs> a yacht. A for yacht. sure a yacht. Yeah. Or a, a sailboat, maybe. Uh, sailboat? Yeah. Certainly have a sailboat. And, and I mean, this guy looks like he's ready to go surfing. Yeah, he's straight off the beach. <laughs> I'm joining you. One of those earrings. <laughs> By the way, if you want to keep watching the coverage at the end of this hour, go to pokego.com. And subscribe. Use promo code yesterday get. Yesterday evening, I was down to twenty-five thousand. Wow. Yeah. You didn't have the chip. Huh? You didn't have the chip. You had. I had. Five, five I had five red. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Wow. So yeah, use promo code get wsb thirty to save thirty dollars on your annual PokerGo subscription. So get wsb thirty to save thirty dollars on your annual really sub. We also have monthly and quarterly just plans available know. for PokerGo, yeah. yeah. and of it's course. True. The most exciting days of the main event are <coughs> happening right now. So why would you miss out on all that action? Promo code's only valid on our website. So make sure that once you get the app, you sign up first through our website. Viana here with the raise, King-10 offsuit. Same man for Bogan. Different spot, though. Mi amor, y en la mano que le defiendo al chico, 10-9 en sur. The only thing I understood was Mia Moore. I wish I spoke Spanish. You just did? Yeah, that's true. 8 6 suited in the big blind. Definitely one of those hands worthy of a bit of defense. Of course. Love playing defense from the big blind. <laughs> it's the American way. 
He's got to chant defense. If you're ever on the main event final table, Donnie, every time you're in the big blind, I'm going to just start a defense chant. I, I defend very wide for my big blind, so I there will be do. plenty of opportunities to chant defense. <laughs> Queen 9-9 nine nine rolls off. Gut shot for Viana as Galfond missed this one. Our monthly plan is $15 a month, so if you just want to watch the main events, the monthly plan is definitely a decent choice to dip your toe in the water. But I'm just going to tell you right now, we've got an exciting new cash game show coming up in August, and then plenty more action this year. A look at the ballroom here. Max Pescatori tweeted, cash is in the World Series Poker main event Paris Ballets area. Helmuth, zero. Ivy, zero. Negreanu, zero. Max Pescatori, one. Out here in the Grand Ballroom, good time for us to check in with Max Pescatori. Max, can you stand up for me for a quick sec, please? Tell us what it's like to walk in on day four of the World Series of Poker main event. It's unusual. That's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's the truth. Um, it's, uh, yeah, of course, different. Today I was thinking the way that I felt, it's kind of the same way when I go to a final table so for some reason today's feels the same excitement and it's it's nice to be here it's nice to yesterday was a great day it was just fun i fought through like a short stack and bigger stack and and um did well i was happy on my play and you know we'll never know you never know i promised you you wouldn't miss a hand so you better take your seat i appreciate the time max thank All you right. thank you Oop. the pirate donnie you know there's a real pirate in the field though yeah, there is. Uh, here are some more notables. John Juwanda chasing a million. Lonnie Hu also sitting very, very comfortable on 832K. Brian Rast, man, I would not want to give Brian Rast chips in this tournament. And the same goes for Dan Smith, Kane Callis, David Peters, John Sin. And sadly, we've lost Kenny Pollard, who I believe has cashed in 50% of his main event participations. I just love him. Yeah. I have a 21. We're down to 837 players. So during this hour, we've lost about 100 players. It's not going to slow down anytime soon, right, Donnie? He got sick during the second week. I don't think so. These guys are flying. He kind of had a stroke or something. So he doesn't know me as well. You never know. You might have some more. Yeah, yeah, I'll just. My cat Flash and me, we used to have conversations. We were like best friends. He talks to me. I have a cat that talks, really. Wait, excuse me? Even with his. Mike Massa has a cat that talks. That he just had, he still talks to me. He tries to at least. I wow. have a good cat. We'll see what Ali Najab would say to that. Wait, he oh, he knows it. You talking to no, him? No, I talked to my cat. Oh. And the joke is too easy at this point. I'm not, I'm not even going to make the joke. <laughs> I'm not going to make. I'm not, I'm not going to make the joke. <laughs> we're not. We're not. We're not going to get canceled today. No, <laughs> it's not happening. He's it's cute. not happening. All right, three minutes left to subscribe to our YouTube channel to give yourself a chance birthday. to win an my annual subscription. Twenty, but he's gonna. Is that a picture of your Three year of my boy right here. Cards, okay. Yeah, okay. I, I look at Mike Matisau bringing out a picture of his cats at the table. I bring him with me. It's the first time I think I've been on a table where someone didn't break out the camera to show a picture. Take your word for it. Actually brought out a picture. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. Well, he's my world. He ain't going to be around much longer, so got to make the best of it. Sorry? What does that mean? What was that? No, the I mean, Fuka. Uh, give four. Give four. <laughs> This is definitely an entertaining table. <laughs> Headline, of course, so by the Mike Matisau. Against eights. In 2019, 354 players advanced from day four, and in, in last year, field being a bit smaller due to the yeah. vaccine status That's situation, there was 292 players. So we'll probably get down around 300 to 350 would be my guess, just given with the speed of play that we've seen so far in this tournament. So tomorrow we'll be approaching that iconic double digit status as we get down below 100 players. That's right. By the way, one minute left for you guys at home to subscribe to our YouTube channel. To enter the giveaway, I'll be posing the question in just a few minutes before we sign off and send you off to Lon McCarran and Jamie Kerstetter for commentary of this day four World Series Poker main event. Keep in mind, by the way, we have an incredible amount of action still to come here today, Donnie. 
if my math is correct, we have four more levels just kind of, of line play. Up, able to hear so there's nine hours of play yeah, 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 if nine. you include the upcoming <laughs> oh, hour. Oh, really? Like all in your ear? Is that good yeah. math? Line Today I was the no first idea. day I listened to music. My brain is fried yeah. that I can't do math right I just now. I like to talk at the table. We have a long way to go. Everyone's Started an hour late today to due to the bubble, to uh, keeping everyone no, no, here exactly. late last night. He was saying he like, misses his ear yeah, yeah, pods, and I'm yeah. like, people like to have a conversation. I like both. Yeah. Yeah. It makes poker more fun. I like people from all... I'm here to like... No, but sometimes the conversation gets pretty dry. There's nothing else to say. You sit with somebody for 12 hours every day for free. A poker like Anthony Bourdain thought of food. You know, he meets people, he eats. Like, you play poker, you get to hang out with someone for like yeah. four hours. It's four hours. Different cultures. Like, that's why I love you mean US. 12 hours, not because four well, hours. Sometimes it's 12 <laughs> hours. Four in hours. Europe, when you play poker, no one talk to you. You can yeah, do like, both. You know, guys really? do this and so on. In Europe? Yeah, in Europe. Why? It's like, I don't if know. If I was sitting next to People Mr. Ganian, so like, I would I love definitely love I love I just, in Europe? It's that, like, or we all hate each Very chatty. You all hate each other. It's a long day at the main event. The table's also really chatty too. like, you know, but they, on the beginning, it's always like music, Homes and this stuff. People but are shy, too, like, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, some people aren't comfortable speaking in the public or talking yeah. to other people, so yeah. it's like the shy. Especially I think it's a word. Sometimes people are, just don't want to talk to you guys. Correct. Yeah, that's true, too, right? <laughs> Especially you, when they're when you're taking all their chips, they don't want to talk to you. Come on, don't say that. <laughs> well, they don't want I, to I talk shouldn't, to you. I, I shouldn't speak with you, though. No, no, you shouldn't. Oh, you, I, you shouldn't. I you shouldn't. Come on, I gave you already like half million, half million in chips. I'm grateful. Good for you, sir. Thank you. All right, I'm at the completion of this hand, which will be our final hand, we will yeah, do the random giveaway Besides for Mike, if I lose to anyone, I a free year of Poker Go, as Ganyan is just completely no doing the commentary I, for I, us. I, I really mean it. And Arjun no finds Ace Queen in the small blind. Madison will raise it up with Ace Jack offsuit. Don't we all? I will do my best. Raise my voice, Donnie, to get a word in. Can you just go for a second? By the way, the question for the random giveaway, we will draw a winner from everyone who submitted one is let me go with this one what is your favorite play? casino in las vegas Here. your favorite casino in las vegas I don't know. It's you, if, if you've never been Perhaps there's one from the movies yeah, you like. Late, because late was Let me know. Time, Favorite so casino yeah. in Vegas. Yeah, and by no, the way, we are here for example, at Valleys in Paris on the Las Vegas Strip. Like as Arjun flops the nut flush draw versus Madison oh. wow. with the jack high flush draw. Like in person better? Uh, same. Uh, not to say. It's like I I have more uh, I have more fun not on really life, really. obviously, because I like to talk uh, to yeah. with people, meet such great people like you guys. Like you know, we can always. It's such a big pleasure. You can. Meet like millionaire. Arjun like checks to Madison, who gets 26k. Millions, millions and they talk like with you, like the heart that Madison thinks he wants is actually going to be the worst card for him if it, it appeals yes. off. For humanity, it's really nice. Yes, that's super. That's everyone's one the, the same. That's you one of the your best mind. Thing. That's why I prefer life yeah. for sure. It's the same thing. It's like obviously online is good, but yeah, good for you. I like it. Thank you. Ooh, take a breather. All right, we got those submissions coming in to the chat. By the way, don't forget to like this video. For what? Only a 1,600 likes. If you've, if you've chatted that's, today, I mean, like, you better hit I like. I haven't played 250 <laughs> tournaments in my lifetime, probably. No. Literally. And I, and I have friends that played that amount in one year. Yeah, well, I, I, I respect them. It's just, I don't know. To me, it's a disappointing factor, like, you know, because you just don't. Yeah, you, you, get, yeah, yeah. you get lots you know, of different places being mentioned no in the Anything chat. Anything can happen. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you have the clock? Love it usually does. <laughs> is our final hand of the free preview coverage as Madison gets hit with a check raise up to 55k. I don't know why. Only one hour. Yeah, I have to write. I wrote to my, my friend that. I don't think it's big enough. They want it all in one round. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. That's uh, giving us some thought. An hour of this level. Like I said earlier, the card he thinks he wants is the opposite card of the card that he wants because Arjun has a bigger flush draw. And as things finally settle down at the table, I'll let you guys know that you've got Nicolai. one more minute to Nicolai. submit your response Nicolai. in Nicolai. the chat. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Rush, yes? Rush. Rush. Nice to meet you. Yeah. You didn't raise me on this flop? <laughs> Arjun, only 13 big blinds behind. So Madison wants to get pushy here. I don't think it's going to work.
Matt has a disciplined fold here. All right, time for me to do the random draw yeah, for the winner the of the free annual sub. I just said you just if I would have like decided to bet. Like you wanted me to fold. Yeah. I would have. Yeah. I was going with it. That was my plan. So one way or the other. The winner of the free year of Poker Go was that like is a, Jonas Snow, who said Ellis Island, which is about a five-minute walk from here. Here's a look at some more bubble action. Before we wrap up today's coverage on the one-hour free preview, Jonas Snow, please send me a message, social at pokergo.com. Look at all these celebrations. What a wonderful sight, but also extremely painful for some. There's Whitney, the kid. Kings all in on the bubble. They held up. What a time to be alive. What a time to be alive is right. Fields combined on day three. We are now on day four. And tomorrow, we'll dip below, below 100 players. All right, Jonas Snow is the winner of the annual sub giveaway. As I guess we'll give you guys one bonus hand here on the stream. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like the video, and then if you want to keep watching, Lon McCarron and Jamie Kirst that are on the call for the rest of the day on PokerGo.com. So subscribe right now. Use promo code GETWSOP30 to save $30 on your annual subscription. And we'll just wait until this hand is over before sending you off because Bogan is here in the mix with Kulev. It actually goes check, check. The deuce is going to win as Kulev rakes in this pot. So once more, my name is Remko Rinkema. Follow me on Twitter, Donnie underscore Peters alongside him. And we'll be back tomorrow with more free preview coverage of the WSOP main event. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. And we'll catch you tomorrow. Thank you so much.